Have you ever wondered, who gets to vote at general conference session? Well, the Scratch is here to answer that question as we break down the GC delegation selection process. Brought to you by the Adventist Learning Community of the North American Division. Individuals with voting power at GC session are called delegates. The Church's Constitution states that each division's administration is responsible for ensuring that their delegation is comprised of Adventists in regular standing, at least half of whom are laypeople, pastors, teachers, and other non-administrative employees of both genders and representing a range of age groups and nationalities. Delegates fall into two categories. Number one, regular delegates who represent lay members, frontline teachers, pastors, and other field representatives. And number two, delegates at large who represent world church entities and institutions. Regular delegates, which are made up of administrators from various levels of church organization, are selected either by their division's headquarters or by their respective union. The Church's Constitution outlines specific guidelines on how many delegates each administrative body gets. Regardless of church membership size, each union conference is allotted their president, who is considered a delegate at large, and two additional delegates. Union missions, which are like a union conference that is not self-supporting, get their president plus one additional delegate. The pattern continues all the way down to the local level, with each level being permitted two delegates regardless of membership size. If a union doesn't fill all its allotted spots, its division can reallocate those spots at its discretion. In addition, each of the church's 13 divisions are collectively allotted 400 regular delegates to be assigned based on each division's membership in proportion to the world church membership. Lastly, there are 300 remaining delegates who are considered delegates at large. This group includes conference presidents, GC staff selected by GC executive committee, directors and associate directors of each department and association at the church's world headquarters, and employees, field secretaries, laypersons, and pastors selected by the executive committee. At least one third of the total delegates must be present to form a quorum at the opening of general conference session in order to conduct business. However, in the event of a financial emergency or other major crisis within the church or the international arena, the executive committee may reduce the number of delegates needed at session. If you want to learn more about what GC session is or how you can become a delegate for it, check out our other videos at www.thescratchnews.com. Don't forget to sign up for our weekly briefs where we bring you the top Adventist news in five minutes or less.